They're all heavily armed. First, how do you deal with that and are where we are today? Where are you today? How would you describe where? Just prove it. What should have been a war against extremism and elements destabilizing the Afghanistan, the Afghan society, turned into a war against the Afghan people rather than those elements. And that's the fundamental reason uh, for where we are today. That has to end. Uh, therefore, the signing tomorrow with the Taliban uh, by the Americans is a good thing. Therefore, the coming tomorrow of US officials uh, to declare this war ended is a great news for us. And we welcome it. We, we, we have to be ready. We have to be ready. This is our response. ...that they leave. And are you worried that... To the US government, to the US military, we say, you were very heavy-handed against the Afghan people. You bombed our villages. You created prisons in Afghanistan. And uh, that brought immense suffering to the Afghan people. But if there's foreign interference for a weakened country, of course, things will not be fine. To the American people, our message is, we are grateful for the help that you gave us in areas where there has been a lot of improvement in the Afghan society, together with the rest of the international community. And those contractors would get subcontractors and the subcontractors, subcontractors and so on. We must begin to put our own house in order. We must begin to sit down and talk with one another and find the best ways for our country's future stability and prosperity. Therefore, with the US forces leaving Afghanistan, we, the Afghan people, must see it as an opportunity for us to take responsibility for our own country and to make it better, and to live by our own means. Afghans are ready for the, the um, military to leave. They're signing money in their pockets. Yes. And that's, and yes. No. how do you answer for